Today I'm going to be helping out a student here with his uh, front crawl. I'm going to show you what I have to say to him. Please introduce yourself. <laughs> Justin's your student. <laughs> What's your name? Scott. Hey Scott. What are you working on? Uh, I'm working on 100 meter. 100 meter? Yeah. Pretty good, okay. Yeah. For what though? Uh, it's for a race. For a race? Yeah. What's the prize? Uh, bride. I thought you said bride. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, just trying to get my swimming, okay. swimming part down, so. What are you thinking of right now? Thinking about getting that uh, bag of rocks off my back. Bag of rocks. Okay, so as you can tell, like, Scott is pretty muscular, right? Just like me. And the thing about having too much muscle is that it, it doesn't work well with water. Because usually people who are muscular sink like a rock. People who have a lot of fat on themselves, they can float pretty easily. It's like they got like an inner tube built in themselves. So guys like Scott and I, we have to try a little bit harder, work a little bit harder, but it can still be done. One advantage Scott has over other people is he's, he's got the power. That muscle gives him that advantage to add more power into swimming. Learn how to use it properly. That's all you have to do. Yeah. Know how to use it properly to yeah. your advantage. You play hockey too, right? Yeah. Right. So what's the disadvantage of being too muscular then? Oh well, you have more weight, more body mass to move, right? Yeah. You push against the ice. Yeah. How does it feel? Well, if you're if you if the technique's right, you should have power, right? And strength. So it's the same thing with swimming. Yeah. 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 You just need to know how to carve better into the water. Yeah. Based on what you got. Yeah. I'll be relaxed, right? Mostly you have to be relaxed the whole body. You have to focus specific parts of the body to put power, like your, like your palm, right here, your lats, and your ass. Right. Your kick. When you're skating, like two people are competing for the puck. Yeah. Are you gonna skate like this or are you gonna skate like really harsh? Yeah, you're gonna go hard. Go sure. harsh, right? Yeah. yeah. Right now you're you're not harsh enough to the water. I think it's a mental thing too, knowing that when I get tired it all breaks down. So like if I knew I have to do hundred, I'm not going hard, right? And if I knew I'd do a twenty-five, I'd just go balls out, right? You don't give hundred percent from the beginning. No. Yeah. Yeah. You save it for the last lap. Yeah. Tell me about your breathing. What, what's going on in your head? I'm just, I'm, I am breathing out. I'm just trying to breathe out when my head's underwater, basically. And then when I come up, I'm not, I don't breathe, I don't concentrate as much on breathing as I did initially. Like, because when I first got in the water, my breathing was real. Like, I had um, troubles, like, just staying calm, getting my air, right? And breathing properly. Okay, so show me how you breathe. Do it again. Okay, so what what sound did you just make right there? It's just <gasps> right. Yeah. You went for a high note. Yeah. Go for a low note. Just imagine your teammates drop the bucket of ice on the back of your neck. Yeah. How how would you breathe? <gasps> right. You go low. Your mouth will go drop. Yeah. So think Darth Vader. Darth Vader breathing. There you go. Now your lungs opened up. You notice that? Yeah. And when you breathe, don't raise your shoulders. That's shallow breathing. You want to breathe through your diaphragm like a singer. So it, it, all that air goes into your tummy, not your shoulders. Better. Now you're doing deep breathing. Open that throat. Think low notes, Darth Vader. Ice water down the back of your neck. There you go. Much better. I notice you started with two. Yeah. Do you always do two? I was doing three and then someone was showing me some pointers. Thought I should just stick to two right now just because of the short time frame. Okay, so I'll give you a metaphor. Doing two breaths every two every stroke. It's kinda like doing two reps every time you do the gym you go to the gym. Doing bicep curls, two reps, one, two, give up. You're not testing your stamina. Right. So what I would do if I were you. Let's just go balls to the wall. See how far you can go, how many arms you can do before you come up for air. I was doing my front foot. I didn't come up for air until the last yeah. second. Yeah, I, I was doing like 
10 or 12 arms. Yeah. So I finally, my stamina gave up. You should do the same with your stamina. Okay. You notice when you watch Olympic competitions, those swimmers, they start coming up for air every two arms at the last second. Yeah. Because yeah. they're really giving, they're squeezing that last bit of juice in their stamina. Mind blown, I know. <laughs> Just, yeah, things to think about for sure. Yeah. Simplify things. Two things. Darth Vader breathing. And don't come up until you're gasping for air. Feel. I'm all quick on the way down. He's got no speed. All right. I'll show you what I mean by spearing. Huge difference. Oh. 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 oh shit. <laughs> Too much. <Yeah. laughs> you see that knuckle? Yeah. It's close to your cheek now. Yeah. That's good. Is that what I want? And then you step in here. Oh. Well, yeah, because I went out oh, here. See? That's it's way I'm... from here to here. Yep. Expose your armpit. I should see your armpit hair. Okay. <laughs> and your knuckle should be close to your cheek. Step. There you go. When you pull, it's just like doing a wrist, a wrist shot. Build it up and you snap it at the end. So you can't be strong, 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 strong. You gotta snap it. Too much strong. That's slap shot. What most swimmers do to economize the motion is they curve their hand. So they curve it and then they pull. So it's like they really draw an S. Ha, 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 ha. 